Hello YouTube and fellow survivalists. Bowmaster619 here, just giving a quick shout out video to Zombie Go Boom. Now, if any of you guys have ever seen their channel before, you know they've brought plenty of awesome weapons to the zombie table. Such as the Shillelagh, or Irish Blackthorn Walking Stick, made by Cold Steel. You've seen Yorg Sprave of the Slingshot channel kill zombies with an awesome slingshot. I'm bringing to the table today a weapon I think Zombie Go Boom should test. The Bear Grylls Parang Machete, made by Gerber. This is a weapon that looks similar to the Swabi, made by K-Bar. has a nice curved blade, nice sharp edge sharpened by yours truly, and today we will be testing it out on these. Three two-liter bottles. This is cut through smaller bottles and pop cans with ease. Today we're going to be trying out against something a little bit bigger. See how well it fares. Next time I come on, I'm going to give this thing the old coconut test and see if we can go through a good old coconut. So, without further ado, let's give it a test on the two liters. Oh my! I think I went up I a little bit on the swing there, but as you can see quite clearly, this has a lot of cutting power. Here we have the Mountain Breeze, Punch, is the top of the punch. So, as you can see, the Parang Machete is an excellent tool to add to your bug out bag, survivalist kit, zombie slaying kit, whatever you want. And in just a moment I'll bring you a couple more items I personally think Zombie Go Boom should test. As you can see, the Parang did a pretty good job of cutting through these bottles. Very nice clean cut. I really need to learn how to keep my blade flat when I cut though. So, that was a pretty good test by the Parang. We've seen what kind of damage it can do to some two liters. Next time we'll try the coconut test. Okay. Here is one of the next items I think Zombie Go Boom should give a test to. The good old fashioned recurve bow. This one is 45 pounds at 28 inches. Firing a gold tip carbon arrow. Weighted insert of 100 grains. Tip itself of 150. And here is just a good old fashioned target. Let's see what the arrow can do just to the target itself. Well, nothing else went into the target. Not bad penetration. Next weapon I think they should give it a test out to. Good old English longbow. Been used for centuries, millennia, to kill people of all kinds, shapes, sizes, armor, you name it. This particular one shoots at 62 pounds at 28 inches. Same arrow. Let's see what kind of penetration power we can get with this one. Well, interesting entry angle, I can say at the least. Let's take a look at penetration. Not quite as well as the recurve, but still, that would definitely kill a zombie in my mind. But, I don't have any Ivan heads, so I wouldn't know exactly what it can do. But, we have already seen that a compound bow is very effective against a zombie. Soon, hopefully, we'll be seeing what a crossbow can do. Next on the list, in my opinion, out of the bow world, give the longbow and the recurve a good old test run. I'm Bowmaster619, and I will catch you guys later.
such as the Cold Steel, Black Thorn, Irish Shit, Cancel, Cut.